Uganda has launched a diplomatic engagement to lobby against plans to relocate the United Nations Regional Service Center in Entebbe to Kenya's capital Nairobi. The Ugandan parliament, through a resolution, has directed government to use all essential diplomatic channels to convince the United Nations General Assembly to allow Uganda house the UN base. Regional Service Center was established uh, in the 2010, 20, 2010 here because it was convenient, it was cost effective, it was in the long run cheaper for the UN to run its services using Entebbe to service the nine missions it has in Africa. The Regional Service Center at Uganda's International Airport, Entebbe, provides logistical and administrative support services for the United Nations field missions in the East and Central Africa. And once operations are shifted to the Kenyan capital of Nairobi, more than 400 Ugandans are likely to lose their jobs. The Regional Services Center, Entebbe, brings in in the country an estimated 30 million US dollars annually. This serves in the stabilization of the foreign exchange. And once we lose this to go, you'll be seeing our currency collapsing. According to the government, the move is also likely to affect other service industries, such as schools, banks, and hotels. But some members of parliament in support of the shift say Uganda needs to reorganize its house. So what, as a parliament, we must do is to make Uganda attractive, try to grow it. Rwanda is trying. That's why they run an airline with all the problems associated with running an airline in Africa. They are trying to position themselves also as another regional capital. For us here, we want to be, we are looking for sympathy. The Ugandan president, Yori Museveni, has written to the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, formally tabling the country's displeasure. The UN report backs the relocation on account that it would save the organization an estimated 11.3 million US dollars in annual operational costs. The Ugandan voices through their members of parliament have been heard, but the member states will take the final decision when the report and recommendations are presented to the fifth committee of the UN General Assembly. Michael Baleke, CGTN, at the Ugandan parliament in Kampala.